And if you work on very many of them, you'll end up with, with, with all of these show and tell parts. Just let that be known. And uh, you will, th this is, th this is a, a good representation of the type of lead out tires that you will encounter. And if you're going to build one, you just well to order the parts on the get go and be done with it. But you can see that spring there is rusted and bent and it's no good. You, it would not be usable. You see what I'm working with? So, you know, they're just kind of, it's loose in the housing. It's no no reason to reuse that. Just cast it aside, buy you one. And these are kind of, they, these are, they're kind of pricey and uh, they're made out of the wrong material, you know, but it's what we got to deal with. Uh, I, I would rather see that somebody manufacturing them go back to the original type, you know, the solid body and 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 a and an older looking type material. It's available, but this is a, what you get is a, a lead out tire. Several suppliers I notice, and a spring is what you get in in that setup. And I mean, it's what we've got to deal with. So use, you know, you if you need it, replace that. Your engine will like it. The um, the coils, and you, some of y'all are going to recognize these, and they've been available for some time. And it's kind of according who you who you buy from. This is the original one. This one right here. This one. It would have been a. It would have been a. This this one right here. And and you will encounter these these yellow covered ones. Coils. You will encounter these in some really old magnetos. Uh, most of them were all black. Uh, this this was that's that's still a good one. I checked ohms on it, but uh, they they are a left and a right. They're opposite. If you get to looking at them, trying to match them up, it's it's where this war it's where this lead out comes out, and those comes out to the front like, and the original ones had a little spring there that connected that with a little cover on it. But they went to uh, this, this spark plug contact would have been on that side. That spark plug contact would have been straight across. And then this thing here, too, they come like that. And that little spring would have been right there. We, we're, going to ex we're going to assemble one of these. And these were, uh, these was a loose fit. If you get original ones, it was actually a loose fit onto the housing, onto that armature and they were held in there with with these little wooden wooden wedges that that's what helped them coils fast is them little wooden wedges if you take some old ones apart uh, you, you you'll find them little wooden wedges in there that's original equipment but uh, but that's that's the two coil replacements and this 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 coil right here it's it's discontinued. No nobody's offering this this coil set up here now that I that I know of. Uh, I've used a lot of these and I had a great success with them. I never I never rebuilt a Magneta that I put one of these in that I had any problems with. The engines are out there running somewhere now. But this this was a single coil replacement that you could buy. And uh, some of y'all will recognize this. Leave a comment. But uh, it's a 630 uh, 22 microfad condenser in that system, and it's uh, it's it's the same way. It's a primary and a secondary, and it's wound together, connected together, and it worked really good. This this was a good idea. This single coil replacement. Because what you're doing when when you put this in there and you assemble it all, actually, you are you these are to the outside, and this uh, whichever whichever side you put the spark plug war on, which let's say this side, then you have to ground this side. That's what that ground inside that cover does so it makes a it makes a circuit right there so that's that's the reason for that little thing the original ones the condensers the original condensers would have had had that cover on them like that right there for protection the uh carrying on 
this is one that I'm putting together and I did go ahead and install an oversized uh, tool steel guide post and then what I will do is ream this uh, hole in this that's this and that's the inside of that and what I'll do is ream that out to where that it's a good sliding fit onto that guide right there because 99.9% .9 of the time the problem with a magneta the problem is is this pin is wore out more often than not the pin will be worn and this hole in here will be worn and these are available and they're actually they are two versions of this center guide part here. And the ones that you can buy, it's the thread that's on the end right here. There's two different thread uh, sizes. So you do, if you're going to order one of them, you need to know what thread this yoke down here has on it. But what happens is that wires and that hole up in yonder wires. And then when you put it together, when that trips... When, the, when, the, when this pulls down, that can go at an angle. See how loose that is? Okay, uh, that that shoe, it, I got it upside down. You just have to kind of visual it uh, like this. But that when that, when that disc contacts, those, the, the two, these two contacts and them two contacts right there should release at exactly the same time. And if, if that's war, it won't. It will not do that. When when that when this right here pulls, it'll pull it sideways. It'll it'll let one of them come loose, and uh, all is for naught at that point. Now let's continue this tomorrow.